Yo, what is up guys? It is Cameron back once again bringing you guys a brand new video today. And today we're actually going to be showing off my brand new favorite keyboard and that is the Game Dios M3 RGB Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Um, and as you can see, it is also low profile. Uh, and like I said, this is my new favorite keyboard and I'm going to show you why in this video. But if you're interested in checking it out further and possibly buying one, Visit the link in the description down below. I'll have a link to the Amazon page where you can purchase this. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this. I'm going to show you all the features of it and explain why this is my new favorite keyboard. All right, so when you open the box, you're really only going to get about three things. Uh, the first thing being a little customer care card that just shows you uh, the phone number and the locations of their social media um, outlets. Um, they do really have good customer service. I've worked with them several times in the past. Uh, and from my experience, if I had an issue with anything, they were really quick to resolve it. So just a customer care card. You're gonna get a little key remover right here, which can easily be used to remove and pop off any of the keys on the keyboard. Um, this is if you have to maybe replace a switch or replace a key. Some people like to use custom keys, so this thing can come in handy to quickly just pop off any key and be good to go. And then finally, you are gonna get a removable gold-plated micro USB cable. Um, it's pretty long. As you can see right there, uh, this is used to obviously plug it in the back of the keyboard and then plug it in your computer. I'm a huge fan of this though. I love the removable USB things because obviously if this one breaks, I can swap it out. Um, or if I need to pack it up and take it on the go, I don't have to worry about wrapping the wire around it or anything like that. I love the portable aspect of this and I love this removable USB cable. So already big ups on them for doing this. All right, so this is a closer look at the keyboard itself. This is an 87 key keyboard, and like I said, it is low profile, so the keycaps are a little different. Um, in terms of keystrokes, you're supposed to be able to get a longer lifetime out of these with 60 million strokes. I have, uh, instead of an 11.5 diameter, I think they have an 8.5 diameter, and the travel time in between the key uh, and actually hitting the switch is less. So you could say it's a little bit more responsive, uh, but I know I know a lot of gamers do like those standard and bigger keys. Me personally, I have longer fingers, maybe not as fat, so it really isn't a bit as big of an issue for me. I personally prefer a smaller, more portable keyboard like this already. Uh, the mechanical keyboard I was using previously was smaller as well. So I'm a huge proponent of this 87 key layout right here. This is what I like, um, but I know some people like more. The only thing is. I do wish that this had more programmable buttons. It only has two programmable buttons, um, so that is one thing. But you know, you still get the media keys at the top, so you still get you know where you can control everything from up here. You know, all your interactive stuff like skipping songs, changing the volume. Um, you can even do a screenshot right there, lock the keyboard. It really has all your media keys up there, and I really don't have any issue with this um, whenever I'm using it for gaming or just doing regular daily office tasks. So really no issues there. Now if you flip to the back, you are gonna get these legs right there that flip up. Um, same as really all Game Dios keyboards, they flip up and give you a little bit of an angle. Uh, this is a huge thing right there. I always have these flipped up when they are set up on my desk. And then it is rubberized on the bottom, so you don't really have to worry about this keyboard sliding, whether you have a glass desk or a wooden desk. Uh, and then on the top right there, you can see that is where the micro USB plugs in. Like I said, it is removable, so you know if you did have this one for some reason break on you, which I don't think it will, you would be able to replace it, which is honestly fantastic in my opinion. Um, so in terms of the design, like I said, super sleek. If you can take a look at that, it's incredibly slim. I just love the slim design. This one has blue switches, uh, which are my favorite key switches overall. But I love the slim design. It's got a really nice matte finish to it on the sides right there. So anywhere where the keys are not, it's got that nice matte kind of fiberish looking feel to it. And then it's outlined with a little bit of silver at the top. So this is a sleek looking keyboard. I mean, to me, this is aesthetically one of the best looking keyboards I've seen ever. Uh, but I'm gonna plug it in right now. I'm gonna show you guys the different color options and show you a little bit of their software. But in terms of design and just the way it looks, even just right now without the lights on, I'm in love with this thing. Um, and honestly, it has a lot to do with it being smaller and it being such low profile. You know, it really doesn't take up that much space on my desk, which I really value the, de you know, the size of my desk. It, I do have a big desk, but I do love having this not take up so much room. So let me plug it in. I'll show you guys the lights and the software and just how easy it is to kind of change all the different settings on this. 
All right, so as you can see, I have it plugged in right now, and I do also have the you know lights going on here. So I have the wave going, which is awesome because it's changing colors you know down the line. Uh, and as you can see, I'm also recording my desktop. So this is what the software looks like. We can do a lot of different things inside of here, like key assignment. So I can change the different key assignment on there. Change the macro management. You can get really detailed with some of this stuff. You know, it has six different presets on here that I can swap in between just on the keyboard itself by hitting function and then the game button right there and that'll change the different settings in here which like I said there could six different profiles built into this um, you can also do the keyboard luminance which is what I have it going on right now so if I wanted it to be a custom pattern then I could set it up to do that lighting effects um, you know we have breathing which it breathes in and out the different colors you can choose red or if I want it to be blue then it can breathe blue. Um, so there's a lot of different things. Responsiveness, fade out. Let's see, ripple. Some of these are uh, different slide in. You know, there's a lot of different ones that you can work with. Rotation, where it just rotates around in a circle. So there's a lot of different options on here. Personally, my favorite one is still um, what I had before the wave. Um, I just love the wave. I think it looks good when it's just sitting there uh, in your room, even if you're not using it. It just looks clean. Um, and as you can see also on my desk, it's really not taking up that much space, which I love. So huge fan, like I said, of just how much space it takes up and everything like that. But this is what the lighting looks like. Overall, really bright, just as bright as any of the other keyboards I've used, I've used in the past. And I've used Game DOS, Game DOS keyboards in the past as well as other ones. And the RGB lights are just as bright on, the, on this as it is on my you know, Steel Series RGB mouse right there. So really comparable. Um, you can do assign uh, sounds and timers on there. You can sound file edit on there, which that really isn't relevant to this. Uh, and then it does also have built-in software updates right there. So you can check for updates and update those right through the software. Um, but really mainly what you're gonna be using is obviously gonna be uh, the lighting effects and then also changing some of the macros on there, which I really don't have that many macros. I don't mess with them because I mainly use this for typing and editing videos. But if you are a gamer and you want some kind of key shortcut for Fortnite, you can easily do that in the software uh, and add it all right there, which is really nice. So they make it super easy. All right, so I guess one last thing I need to cover on this is that this does also have anti-ghosting and end key rollover, meaning that no matter whatever key you're pressing, you know, and holding it down or whatever, it'll recognize all the keys that you are pressing at one time. So as you can see, I have a Word document open. This will just show you, you know, I'm pressing multiple keys at one time. And it's still recognizing them as I press down. So I mean, you know, not that you would need to do that every single time, but if you are pressing multiple keys, you're not gonna have to worry about it giving you a delay or not recognizing some key impression because it does have that end key rollover and anti-ghosting. So once again, most high-end keyboards have that, but I just wanted to clarify that this definitely does have that. Um, so even if you are gaming or you're in an incredibly fast typer, you know, this is gonna have you covered. All right, and finally, I'll try to get close to the keyboard just to give you guys a sound test so you can hear what this exactly sounds like because I know a lot of you with the blue switches want to know what it sounds like. So I'll shut up for just a second and just type. All right, so I hope that gave you an idea. Uh, I love the blue switches, the way that they sound. Once I've had a blue key blue switch keyboard, I can't go back. Uh, I gave one of my friends a keyboard that had blue switches, and he was the same way. Once he heard that noise uh, and just felt how responsive the keys are whenever you are typing, you know, he can't go back to another you know keyboard. So I'm definitely one that loves the blue switches. I love how loud they are, and I think that this does a jo good job of not being too loud, but sounding really nice and giving you that good tactile feel whenever you are gaming or typing you can definitely tell what key you're pressing and it gives you that response all right guys so thanks for taking the time to watch my video today i do hope you enjoyed it overall this is a fantastic keyboard and like i said my brand new favorite keyboard i'm going to continue to use this uh, because overall i just love it uh, if you're interested in checking it out further, like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure to visit the links in the description down below. I've links to the Amazon page down there where you can buy it. Um, but other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like rating on the video if you enjoyed it. 
subscribe to the channel for more content, and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this keyboard and other keyboards that I should maybe check out in the future and do videos on. But that's really all I have for you guys today, so thanks so much again for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. See ya.